the upper Leesville Lake now, which is right below the Great Big Smith Mountain Lake. We're about a fifth of a mile below the dam and the bridge that goes across to the upper part of Bedford County. And all down in this Leesville Lake is covered, it goes through what this mountain is made of on the surface is a schistose rock called phyllite. And if you look at this real close, phyllite has a silvery sheen. And if you look at it with a microscope, you'll find out that it has sericite mica crystals that form this beautiful little silvery color to it. Now it grades all the way around here, the rock grades all the way from a, what they call quartz chlorotoid gneiss all the way to a schist, all the way to a phyllite. And the phyllite's kind of in between the schist and the gneiss. But it's characteristic of the mountain on the surface, these shiny type rocks are phyllite. And you notice it's sort of in layers. And it's a very ancient rock in this area. It's very old. Now we'll go up and try to look at some of the larger layers of phyllite. We're up at the Smith Mountain Dam site at the Visitor Center at Appalachian Power Company. And they are very friendly and very nice people. And you can see their visiting center, which you ought to definitely go visit if you get a chance. But right to the right here is an exposure of the typical phyllite that's found in this area. The whole mountain more or less is made of phyllite on the surface that's weathered. But if you dig down deep or in their boreholes, they get to another rock which is called quartz chlorotoid nice, but it's basically eventually turns into phyllite as it weathers. And a lot of people call this a schisto structure, which it is. But the very fact that it has so much of the sericite mica in it, that's what classifies it as phyllite.